Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are going to start jumping into some fabrication on our EJ25 Subaru Swap Volkswagen project. Um, we are going to start fabricating a couple things. First thing though is we're going to start working on some of these small patch panels that we have to do inside the bus. Um, there's one underneath the clutch pedal where your foot rests. Um, there's one in the cabin, I believe. And there's a couple of wheel wells where someone had drilled some really big holes and we've got to patch those holes. So that's what we're going to start working on first. And then I think next week we're going to work on building our engine mount for our Subaru engine. There are aftermarket ones that you can purchase ready to go out of the box. But I think kind of making it ourselves is going to make us a little bit more uh, challenged, if you will. So I'd like the challenge and we're going to make our own of that as well. But first things first, let's work on these patch panels. And I'm going to be completely straightforward and honest. I have not welded a single thing ever in my life. So we're just gonna do the right thing and just go for it. So we've got some metal sheet metal, metal sheet metal, that sounds ridiculous. We've got sheet metal over here on the side. We'll be able to cut out patch panels for that. And we're just gonna, you know, go for it. Luckily these patch panels are underneath carpet and rubber mats and everything. So if they're, you know, some Stevie Wonder type welds, nobody's gonna see it and that's okay. So. Let's get us all set up. We're gonna do the first one, which is right up here in the front underneath our clutch pedal. We're gonna get that one started. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and we're gonna start cutting and get it patched. Got my handy light here, but the first patch is gonna be right here. You can see this hole right underneath your clutch foot. We're gonna cut that one out and there's a little hole here as well. There you go, maybe you can see it a little bit better now. With the light coming through. Gonna patch those up. Not a big deal, two little patches. We'll get that taken care of. I believe the other one is, yeah, there's one right here. Luckily, we didn't go into the frame side of it there, but we're gonna get those patched. I think there's one more of those here, and then we've got that beautiful hole right there. Now, there are a couple little holes right here in this corner. Um, you see right there behind the seat, and here um, there's some more poking through, um, and we'll see what we can do about patching those out and getting those cleaned up. So this is what today's gonna be, mostly just patching all the stuff up. I'm gonna bring you guys along and see how well we can make this Harbor Freight welder work for us in these disaster areas. So we've got our sheet metal will break out here, hanging out waiting for us on the wall. We'll get that cut out and use that as our template on our big sheet and replace it. We've got our magnets, we've got our helmet, gloves, and the long sleeves and our welder ready to go. Let me get you guys up in the stand and let's get started. So this is our clutch spot. This is gonna be our first cut. I think I wanna do one cut here, just a square. And then we've got another one here on the corner um, to fill in. And there's a little crack here and here. So hopefully we could probably fill that in with some weld, kind of ground it down. But basically this has like a big dent in it. So we may have to cut it as one big square piece here to make that patch. And you can just kind of see where the light's coming through. Luckily, there's no frame right here. It's just floor pan. So we're going to get as close as we can to make a nice, clean, small patch. And then we'll move on to this one. It's going to be a little bit more complicated um, just because of the position that it's at. So we're going to cut it out. We've got our grinder ready. And uh, it's the moment of truth, really. So we're going to cut this one out first and see how it goes. All right, so we got that one cut out. Well, mostly. That's gonna be very hot. Otherwise, I would grab it with my hands. I'm gonna need to grab some pliers and I can wiggle it out. But that was actually ended up being a pretty nice clean cut. We did get a little bit over excited with the grinder, but nothing we can't fill in. So it's not all the way through. Let me grab some pliers, see if we can get this little bit out of there, because that is hot. There we go. Get that cleaned out, and then we can use that those pieces as a template to patch it. Okay, so the good thing about our nice square sheet metal piece here that we have left over from our Fiat project 
is that it's already got a nice straight edge. We're only gonna have to cut two. We're gonna take our grinder, cut that out. And then we've got our little welding magnets here, our Harbor Freight Specials. And we're gonna use those to hold them in place. And then we can start uh, using this for the first time and see how bad I can do. So our first patch panel is in and we actually did pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of a gap on the top and a little gap here. I would have liked it to be a little bit tighter. We might be able to center that a little more, but the side to side is great. So not bad for doing a patch panel for the first time ever. And our little magnets helping us out hold that up. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is grind off some of this paint around it. That way we have a good mating surface for our welder and we can fill in these little bit of a, you know, little extended cuts, fill those in as well. And I was underneath there and there was some horrible booger welds underneath here. I'll show you guys that when we move on to here. It was pretty funny to look at. But let's paint, uh, scratch some of this old paint off with our flap disc. And then we can break out the welder and see how bad we are at, you know, welding for the first time ever. <laughs> So I've got you guys up on the steering wheel out of the way. We're gonna throw on a tack weld on each side. I've got the ground clamp to the frame. So I'm hoping that's, it's right underneath here. So I'm hoping that it's as close as it can be. And again, I've never done this in my life, but uh, we're gonna go for it because there's no time like the present to learn. So we're gonna clip off the little bit of the end that we have on our welder. If my hook will stay up stay up now <clears throat> all right first weld wish me luck <sighs> well I guess it helps if you turn your welder on huh <laughs> that's better all right, here we go. Well, that didn't go so well, we blew right through it. <laughs> so, let's turn the metal down and the speed down a little bit. And try again. Well, I think I'm not moving fast enough because I am blowing holes like crazy through this thing. So, hmm. Let me just go faster. Well, a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is keep playing with my settings because I am blowing through this like it's going out of style. So let me keep playing with this and when I finally get it together, I will bring it back. A few moments later. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, these welds are absolute trash and I know that considering I've never done it before. So I didn't expect perfection but off the get go and it's gonna take some practice and this metal's really thin, which is challenging enough. So I'm gonna show you, but don't judge me because I know you're going to, but I'm still gonna show you because I just, you know, wanna be honest, this is where we're at. So we're gonna go down in here and it is not pretty. Booger City and um, there are a lot of gaps. You can kinda of see the light coming through there around the edges. We just did a bunch of little tiny welts um, around the outside, little tap, 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 tap. And there was some rust on the outside, especially on these ends. Um, and that's caused it to kind of blow out. So I was trying to build on top of that and it just wasn't going my way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind that flat as well as we can and we're gonna seam seal it and call it good. Now I know, I know it's not perfect. I get it, but it's a lot better than a huge hole. And 
it's it's holding just fine and my foot rests there for the clutch it's not like i'm going to be jumping up and down the spot it's not structural it's a tiny tiny little tiny patch so we're just gonna keep this the way it is uh, i know it's not beautiful but you know we got it done and that's what matters so we're gonna do the same process down here probably from within the cab and then that other one inside back by the fuel pump not fuel pump fuel sender hole that somebody cut so it's not going to be pretty, but luckily all these hide. Um, we're going to put seam sealer on them, so all those little gaps get filled and paint it. You know, a grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't. So that's what we're going to go with. That's the motto. We're just going to patch these, get these all set up, and uh, you know, keep nature out. So I was sitting and looking at that weld that I literally just showed you, and I just didn't feel good about it and I was like you know what let me try some practice beads on some scrap and see if I can make it better so this is what I did here is I made a bunch of practice beads and these turned out to be much better and I had a good connection and good feed strength blew out a little bit here and there but much better so I said you know what let's let's try this again so I got out my flap disc and I made a better grounding surface around it, like a better bare metal area. And there's some of this old floor sound deadening material that's probably factory. And that's what was boogering up a lot of this. So I took that flapper disc and I ground it all down and a little bit of the surface rust got rid of that. And it ended up being much better. So <clears throat> when I put the light under it, I mean, there's still holes, but not nearly as many as there were. And that'll make me feel a little bit better about the seam sealer. So still not perfect, but also much, much better after doing those practice welds and getting a feel for it. So it turned out much better. I am much more confident in this. So now we can move on to this and inside the cab where the fuel sender is. And I just, I feel better now. So we're going to do the same thing as this all over again here and back there and get it all better. So we've got this last patch in. This is where that fill center hole was put out. It was these here, was that. And that is what I came up with. Is it perfect? By all means, no. No way is that any good. All sorts of boogered up all the way around, little tack, 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 all the way around, filling a gap, and tack, tack, tack. So that's what this horrible mess looks like, but for never being able to weld, this is my second time welding anything. Um, it is better than this, by all means. And it's not quite lined up with the ridges of the bends, but I don't really have a break or anything like that to make perfect bends like that. So just out of the vise like you saw. And I will take this over this any day. 
so that is much better and it'll definitely uh, hold some weight so when we go to put stuff on here sleeping on here whatever we do in the future this will definitely hold up and it's better than this mess well guys we got those patches welded in are they beautiful no not by any means but are they gonna do the job for us sure absolutely we'll put some undercoating on the ones on the bottom and get them all coated so they don't rust uh, put some seam sealer to fill those gaps and i have a lot of practice that i need to do to get better at doing this now i thought i would be better i don't know why because i have zero experience so i'm going to get my friend rob involved he has been fabricating roll cages and all sorts of frames and things for way longer than i have ever done it clearly for a day so he's going to come help us uh in a week from now so next week we're going to be actually installing the engine into the bus uh, we're going to get it underneath there and see what we can do to get that motor and transmission up there get it mounted um, and try and hold it up with like a strap or something until we can start working on that frame the motor mount and that's what rob and i'll be working on the week after so not this coming week but the win after we will have that video out for you guys where we start using this welder to make that frame now if you guys have welding tips or tricks or anything like that please put it in the description down below don't be abusive about it you know i'm still learning it's my first day give me a break here okay but put your comments down below i really do appreciate it any tips you have um, things you've learned over the years if you've been doing welding i really do appreciate it um, i have a lot of youtube videos to watch on my own on how to get better at this so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it it really helps the channel make sure you like comment and subscribe subscribing really helps us grow we're getting bigger and bigger we are slowly getting there um, and i really do appreciate all the support you guys have as we continue to work on projects like these thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and until next time we'll see you